So our Cane project is a mobile person following device which assists the user by providing proprioceptive feedback through a light touch interface. So the motivation behind this Cane project is that there's 35% of individuals in the United States aged 75 to 80 suffering from limited mobility or impaired balance. And a lot of these individuals use a traditional cane, but there's a lot of drawbacks to something like that. For example, they have to coordinate that with the way that they walk. It doesn't provide support through 100% of the gait cycle. You have to lift it and then replace it on the ground in front of you. This device would provide support the duration of when you're walking. K9 stands for Light Touch Person Following Navigational Device. So the canine tracks the user through reflective bands that are placed around the user's ankles. And using this information, we can calculate the position of the person within their environment. And then the cane can plan its trajectory to be at a specified um, distance from that individual to kind of follow them to the side as they move through their environment. We use LiDAR sensor to detect the relative position of the person we are going to follow. We can see in the monitor that once the LiDAR detects the high intensity based on the reflective band, we can infer the position of the person. And it will give us two arrays about the environment. One array is for the distance. In this way, we know the distance between the obstacles in the environment and the LiDAR sensor. The second array is the intensities, which means uh, when you emit a light to the obstacle and the obstacle will reflect it back. In this way, you will know some properties of the obstacles and to tell what the obstacle is. I think the most fulfilling part of working on this project for me is knowing that this device has the potential to really impact people who need assistance. I do feel like smart devices are the future in healthcare for assisting individuals with limited mobility. So I think the future of the canine device is really exciting. We could integrate AR technologies into this device to maybe assist others in planning their route. So say we had some kind of tablet on the top of the device and we said we wanted to go from here maybe to the next room. Then maybe we could tap that on the, um, on the tablet interface and then have an AR headset to help navigate the individual through that environment.